everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be doing a bullet journal and no taking supplies video. Um, so the first thing I use is my um, bullet journal which I got from Typo and it's a dot grid journal and I really really enjoy it. Um, it's really nice, um, it's quite small though but it also has a notes folder and I found it works really well for me and the bookmark is really useful too. As for note taking, I use the Flying Tiger A4 uh, notebook. I find it works really well, I like using lined paper and the paper is pretty thick as well so it's good for using brush pens on. So the first things I use are the Sakura Pigma Micron Fine Liners and I use the 04 and the 05 and I love using these because the ink is really good quality and they last really long and they just in general are a great thing to use in one's bullet journal as well as note taking. The next supply that I use for my note taking and bullet journals is Crayola Super Tips and I have the 50 pack. These are absolutely amazing and they're a really good investment if you want to use them for bullet journaling or note taking because they are just so cheap and they come out really nicely on paper and I just adore them. The next pens that I use are the Jelly Roll pens. I have two of them, one in 08 and one in 10. Although I tend to use the 10 more often just because it creates thicker lines, but I like to use these over black brush pens to create a cool effect. The next pens that I use are my favorites, and these are the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. These are pretty pricey, so I don't have a whole collection of them, but I do have a few and they create really thick brush lines as well as thin lines um, if you use the other side and I absolutely love these, they are really good quality um, but then again they are quite expensive. My next favourites are the Zebra Mild Liners and I really really enjoy these, they come in really nice pastel colours and I like to use them to highlight my titles and they just really work well and the colours are beautiful. My next favourites are the Stabilo 0.88 fine liners. These work really well for filling in important details and they're really good quality too. I really like them. These are my Pentel Fude Touch brush pens and these are really good to use in my notes for subheaders because they are really small brush pens and you can't find many small brush pens out there. Next up are the ever so popular Tombow Furinosuke brush pens um, in hard tip and soft tip. So this is hard tip which I prefer using um, and it has a plastic nib. Um, but then you also get the soft tip which I don't use that much which is an actual brush. But I love these. Next up are the Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens and I don't use these a lot because they are really expensive, however, they do fray a lot, especially this brush one over here. I hate it, it's really bad. But the fine liners are really, really good. Um, the M is quite thick, and then the next one is the S, which is really, really thin in size. And then you also get the um, F, which is a little thicker. But overall, these are really nice, but a bit overpriced. Then I also sometimes use this Papermate Inkjoy gel pen which is really nice and a good alternative if you like using gel. Then for pencils I just use these ones that I got from Hamer. I don't use mechanical pencils, I just like regular standard ones. I also love using this Whiteout from Hamer because it creates a really like neat effect if you make a mistake so I love using this. And lastly we have my Maypad sharpener which I love using because it is the most effective sharpener I've used and almost never breaks my pencil nibs. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I hope this gave you a little bit of insight into some things that you might want to purchase if you are new to bullet journaling and fancy note taking. I will leave all of the links to where I got my stuff from in the description, however if you live outside the Netherlands 
or South Africa then some of the stuff you might not be able to get in your country but most of the stuff you can easily find at local stationery stores and I'm pretty sure that most of the stuff is also available on Amazon. Anyway, see you next time.